Spread Solutions Radio, where we explore and expose the different aspects of the human experience through creativity and spirituality. Now enjoy your show. Host Jennifer Hellman. Hello, everyone. This is Jennifer Hellman, and I thank you so much for listening to Air um, at Resolution. Radio has been a part of my life for a very long time. It really got me on my journey, and as I change, it's changing. And um, as a place, I felt kind of needing a change to the, the program, and I'm still in the process of figuring out exactly how I want to change it. So one thing I am doing at this time is shortening the time to just 30 minutes because everybody has so much to do that I really feel that making it quick to the point, number one, is the way I do things, and number two, you get what you need and then you can move forward and go on to your next moment. But I appreciate you taking this time to really focus on, and that's what this is all about, is creating a better you through your self-expression. And the energy right now is really supporting us in this. With everything that is going on, we're definitely getting messages and clear indications and signs of exactly what our heart's desires are, what our purpose is, what our path is, and we really just need to own it, claim it, and go express it. It is really a wonderful time, so there are some things that happen that you really have to pay attention to your guidance, your inner block. If there's anything I, I really stress for people, especially now, is to listen internally. The guidance may give you a backup sign saying, yeah, really, that's what I'm saying on the outside. So sometimes you need to listen to things on the outside. Feel I'm good on the inside. Speak your truth. And stand for your truth. That is the only way anyone can really move forward now is speaking a truth through the heart. A lot of people are have the best intentions right now, but it doesn't always, it's not always fully expressed in the best of ways. But the best of intentions is always there. And right now there's a lot of people who are focusing on a lot of different areas, but the one that I'm seeing the most of is abundance and prosperity. We all have that natural right. And both right to, I mean, there's nothing limiting us except us. We are the only ones that are limiting us. And I have been standing in my way for a long time. And I'm not going to play it safe anymore. Um, we have so much beautiful things that we can do these days that the energy is such that it really is supporting us in our dreams. I've seen so many people who have had really positive things coming into their lives, really wonderful experiences that are just, once you make that decision, the best thing you can do is make that decision and then yes, and then start putting it in action. Not just a plan, but a physical action. Action always speaks louder to the divine saying, yeah, I really want to do. You're willing to make mistakes. You're willing to really take up that, that risk of possibly making a mistake. And if you do, you'll learn something you move on. Uh, there are so many beautiful things possible right now and a lot of changes. For me, I, I know that. A big part of what I am about is self-expression and storytelling. 
So, um, and that's kind of what the show is about, just telling a story in this moment. So right now, there is a lot of stories that you can listen to. One thing that is in the the race quite a bit is about depression and um, bipolar and suicide. The spiritual crisis that causes to have these situations coming to our lives. To me, Robin Williams' death really hit me hard. It really did. In a sense that if she can't make it, how am I? But the thing is, I need to really understand that he had, she had literally completed what he needed to do in his lifetime. And he truly did not want to have his life end through disease, through an ailment. So he chose to take it himself and really let go and let God. And I'm at perfect ease with what he did. I truly believe that he served the greater credit for what he had done. He made us stop and appreciate life in a whole deeper way. And so I have great appreciation for all his work and he always will help us focus on the important things. The important things of taking those risks, going out there and willing to take a full of yourself and expressing yourself fully with fun. I mean, he always was able to bring a smile to so many millions of people that we need to take part with that. And then we also lost, it's like we lost a piece of humor, we lost beauty, the born to call, and now with Don Potter, we've lost the voice. And it's, it's like these lost things that we're gaining is stronger within each of us and making room with us to claim our humor, our beauty, and our voice. And with that, we are expanding to a greater good for all of us. But we really need to focus on just ourselves in a sense and what will get us to the next step. Collaboration is a huge part of the energy right now. And it's the way we're, we're heading. It's the energy in a lot of Jupiter and Leo, which is joy, love, family, nurturing oneself, really being focused. Without taking it to extreme, a pride, arrogance. There's a lot of different ways of holding on to this energy, and right now we really need to focus on what is really good for us right now and following our path. The people, the companions of destiny are coming into our lives now. We have gotten past the point of wondering, where is my support to all around you? You just need to accept it, allow it, love it. And at times it's going to be just to a certain point, and then you're going to let go. It's like, hey, we started our focus together. It's been nice. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Detachment right now is important. And it's, it's a sign that I've been getting a lot of as my, my cat has been catching scissors in the house and we're finding him alive but without a tail. And that is a clear sign of detachment, going forward with detachment, owning what is really ours, which is the heart, protect the heart, detach from the little things that may be going on. So, right now, with the Jupiter energy, it's really a time of expanding and really staying on your path 
and having fun. If it isn't fun, you need to rethink what you're doing. Point blank. If it isn't bringing you joy, if, it, if your inner child isn't saying, yeah, let's do this. There's excitement. It's time to rethink about what you're doing. It is really a powerful time to really open yourself to being centered in your heart and seeing what is out there for you to really express yourself in the best way. And when you find that center point, that passion that makes you thrive and excited, and you may do it just for a time at first and build your life around it slowly, and that's okay. Go on your path. Other things that are really being clear messages, you get what you give. So if you want to have more community support, you need to give to the community. If you want to be more clients, you have to be more present in a way that makes you open and available to people. And understand that if it's supposed to be in your life, they will come. And you have to work on what's blocking you, your abundance. You have to clear out some of those fears that might be keeping you away. Resistance, but you need to clear out that resistance. And there's really simple ways of doing it. You know, it's, it's why for me, I ask my guidance, my internal voice, to show me physically if it is my resistance or someone else's resistance that I'm feeling. So if it's in a light wrist, it's somebody else's. If it's in my left, that means I'm blocking my own abundance. So you can find it. I start getting an ache in my wrist. Like, okay, what am I resisting? I need to open that up. You need to have these contains in your body. There's some resistance within you. Easily focus that energy to clear it out. And detach is really important. Make sense of the things that you doubt or that you don't fear. Recognize them. Own them. Because once you do that, guess what? It's really easy for them to clear out because you'll understand really with the heart in the core of that fear is what that doubt is. And if you see assistance, I'm available. There are so many wonderful people out there available to assist you. Do I usually be guided to the right person? If you're talking to them and it doesn't feel right, you have the right to say, you know, I don't feel right about this. I'm going to end this session. You have every right to do that. I tell a lot of people are picking up a lot of fear can change because it's overloading. I know this weekend, I've had a lot of overloading processes that literally I couldn't focus on anything. So I just lay down and I guess, you know, my guidance would say, okay, pick up this book. And I'm like, really, guys? Um, and they said, okay, don't. Just touch out. Just even in the early morning, so I got some really clear messages for myself through the processing. But if you get overwhelmed, it's time to step back and detach, breathe, relax, and see what else we can do. Get a different perspective. Take a different look at it from a different way. You will feel much better if you do that than trying to force anything. If you force anything, it's just going to blow up in your face. So you really need to understand that there is a lot of change going on, and a lot of it you ask for it, so you need to accept and allow things to flow through you and nurture yourself. That's part of the real energy. Nurture yourself. Understand it's okay, you're processing. If you get overloaded, 
break it down to little steps so you don't feel so overwhelmed. The information is out there and within you. You need to just slow down and take it bit by bit. A lot of things that will help you with this change to start a daily spiritual practice. It could be getting up every day and saying, I am grateful for, and counting five things that you're grateful for. It can be a meditation, by 10, 15, 30. I want to allow you at an hour of meditation when I first get up. Check through the energy of myself. Hopped up for the day ahead. Exercise. Writing a journal. But thoughts came through in your, your sleep. Something that I do every day is I actually get up really early because the stars are still open. You know, up, shining away. So I go outside and I talk to the stars. I collect and I need that energy. I give thanks for things. I do my gratitude every morning to the stars to the year. By going outside and saying, good morning and thank you. Thank you, universe, for this beautiful day. I might ask, you know, I might say what I want the day to be, give intention. Sometimes I just feel the energy. I love, especially if it's like a full moon or a new moon. It really does help the energy for me that day. Other people love to watch a sunset, a sunrise. Um, some people just sit and listen to the box for five minutes, two minutes. Um, the other thing that's really critical right now is grounding. Make sure you're centered and grounded. Now, we had um, a mirror back on, and she gave an idea of, of a grounding process, and I don't know if it was on one of her webinars or if it actually was on the show, but I'll, I'll say what it was really quickly. So now, 12 inches below your feet is what is called the star grounding chakra, and above you, you have another chakra. It is the higher self chakra. So I always visualize a tube of golden light, and I put the energy grounding myself to the ground top and to the higher self, and I just kind of brush myself with that. Generally, I can visualize being a staying energy that extends outward, and I feel very grounded, and it expands and clears my aura at the same time. I find that works really well. It doesn't take long. I do it several times during the day, and it tends to really open me up for better connection and better understanding. Some of the other things that you might think about is Every day, just listening two to three things that will help you on your path, and just complete those. Don't worry about overdoing things. Just be happy and present with getting a few things done. The other thing that's very critical, and a lot of people are nesting and clearing the clutter. If you've got too much stuff, you're not going to have any space or anything else to come in. So you really need to, in a sense, understand that you need to um, kind of clear the way for new things to come in, to really own your power, to own what's really going on. So it's really a time of great appreciation for what you have in your life. If there's anything that you're not really owning or really trying to, um, if something is not coming in, there's a timing block. Um, sometimes, at least for me, I have a tendency to um, talk and put it out there the opportunity comes, and then I second guess myself. Otherwise, 
not, not a good thing to do. But I feel kind of like, okay, I'm, I'm always a little bit behind. I'm not. I'm always in divine time. to just change that way because of the perspective I've taken. Um, if you want something and you're still passionate about, go for it. Because um, not too long ago, I called my friend, Bob Lynch, who's been on the show several times. He has a wonderful show. And he asked me, um, and I told him I had this idea. I really need to um, sell a national park. And just kind of doing a healing and the connection to Mother Earth. I needed to do that. He said he would help me with um, collecting funds to really support me to do the across the U.S. and possibly around the world. But yet, as I went on a trip, a road trip, um, with my mother up to Oregon for a family event, I finally realized that I already knew what I was doing, and I really didn't need to feel that unless I really felt like it. There was other ways that I needed to do. The one thing I did definitely need is to reconnect with Mother Earth. I had gotten a film of it, which is a rainforest jasmine that really connected me with home. Um, and it's a beautiful film, and I really am loving having it. And it's beautiful, and I wear it, and I feel very special, very much part of the understanding of what's going on. But my plan changed. Sure, I lost it all the uh, national parks, and I know I will. I, the main thing I was getting from that is part of my path is the expansion and the connection that are of the people along the way. So other things are in the mix. But I had an experience of a national park that fulfills what I was needing to get. So putting the energy out may just open me up just enough. If I feel it's so to say, and then you look back and say, you know, I really don't need that anymore. But what else is there? So things can open up and clear very quickly on what you need to do. So don't feel like you're obligated to stick with one plan. Things are shifting in you. Things are changing drastically. You will know and hone in what is your greatest joy. You will want to work on it, and you will not doubt it. You may get a few obstacles in the way, but you're going to get tested, and you have been tested the last two weeks for this long. But time, time, you're just like, you're in the vortex. You're really there. And the next day you're going, what the heck is going on? But you know, you might feel the pressure. You might feel down. You might feel lethargic, confused. And that let it flow, just go through you and understand that it's just a little bit of a loophole. It's just a little bit of a thing that we need to go through to process. It's okay. You'll get through. Everything is going to be okay. Everything is a temporary situation. If you get your caught up in a downward spiral, highly, highly, yeah, that's your guidance. Number one, if you just want to dance, dancing instantly gives you to the divine. It raises your vibration between the music and the movement, the guy goes up. That will help you. A lot of times they would say, okay, I need a message. I need a clearing. I need an understanding. Show me. So either they'll tell me to go outside and help see a bird or a flower or a plant. I don't see an interaction with something. You are up and cold inside to pick up a book and open it. It's like today I was guided to do a book on solar fuel. And I opened it up and explained about a healing process that I've recently gone through. And 
uh, of feelings and the emotions that you might go through in the process. And that, the process could last a couple weeks. She gave me answers of what was going on with me. And so the energy now is just shifting and changing and doing that thing for us. So be really good to yourself. Take time for yourself out of nature the best you can. Uh, exercise. Keep light. Really, the body is your temple. It is the divine physical form. And if you don't take care of it, how can the divine take care of you? Um, it's really showing an outward expression of what you feel you want. And you are priceless. You are a brilliant star here to shine, to express your individuality in the needed. So even though you might have those moments where you wonder, I just said at the beginning, well, if she can't make it, if Robin can't make it, how can I? Understand, she fulfills your religious process. I know my path is just beginning. So I actually got one of those buttons of people, and every time I finish something, every time I complete something, I push that button, and I hear, That was easy. That was easy, because in truth, everything is as easy as we make it. And humans have a tendency, a horrible tendency to get in the way, Make it ten times complicated than it does. Just really have to be. It's time for you to step back through this because every process that you've ever gone through, every experience, is a step to the highest potential of you. There is no fucking guessing anymore. There's only moving forward. So even though you might go, I don't know about this. Just by taking a little breath, you can move in and handle whatever you need to handle. This is one of the things that I hope to really understand. I take the card from the animal flow and it is the tool. And it's the coyote. And there's a lot of different animals that different mythologies that have the same energy as a pool, which is having fun with life and being willing to like Wiley Coyote. Make a fool of yourself and have fun, but laugh at yourself in the process. Don't. Don't take yourself too seriously. Just have the wisdom within you. Have fun with it. And I guarantee you you'll get through it. The show is now coming to an end, and it is just been sure for a lot of changes happening to me. Stay tuned. Check out angelsintuition.com. Here's the how we've got things happening. And with that, with each breath of air, I'm going to gain new insights and inspiration. Till next time, many, many blessings. Breathe, center, move forward. We'll get through this. Have a great, great. Thanks so much, everyone.